In the first challenge, we'll create a function called convert that takes a list of numbers and returns a list of their corresponding string representations. The twist is that you need to implement this with a single line of code using list comprehension. In this challenge, we're going to re-implement the zip function from scratch. The zap function takes two lists and returns a list of tuples, pairing the elements from the two lists, just like a zipper. The catch is that you should create this function without using the built-in zip function. Here, we're diving into code analysis. The task is to write a function called validate that checks if a provided code string meets certain criteria. These criteria include having a function definition, def, a colon, ho, parentheses for parameter list, proper indentation, and more. The unique twist is that your solution should return true even when validating itself. In the next challenge, we're dealing with two lists and a number. The function list underscore XOR checks if the number is exclusively present in either of the two lists, but not in both or neither. It's like checking if the number is zipped into one of the lists, but not both. In this task, we're writing a function called param underscore count that accepts a variable number of arguments the function returns the count of arguments passed to it. This showcases how you can handle flexible argument lists using the asterisk arg syntax. Here, we'll create a function named format underscore number that takes a non-negative number and returns a string representation with commas as thousand separators. This challenge illustrates how you can format numbers to make them more readable. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more content.